Look at his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to convert multi-bin file PlayStation games into just a single bin queue. Um, what this is handy for is, number one, it just makes things nice and neat. You have one bin file, one queue file, much better than having multiple bins uh, and one queue file. More importantly though, for the PlayStation Classic, um, if you hack your PlayStation Classic, as far as I'm aware right now, it's only using one one bin one queue so it's only using single bin and single queue files so I thought I'd go ahead and show anyone who has multiple bin games um, how to switch it over to single bin single queue so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the link in the description and it's gonna take you to MU Paradise a nice old website uh, that's been around quite a while always has good stuff um, and it's gonna take you to the CD Mage 1.02.1 beta 5 and we can download it from right here and you can download it to wherever you want now I'm just gonna download it into my PlayStation Classic Games folder I hit save and now that that's done I'm gonna go into the folder where I've downloaded it be at the very bottom I'm just gonna right click on it and extract here and all it extracts is the cdmage.exe just the program so we're gonna open it up we'll run the program next thing you want to do is go to this open folder right here and navigate to where you have your multi bin games so mine are in my H PlayStation Classic games and all of these games are single bin single queue I've already switched them over except for Tech End so Tech End is going to be my game here and you can see I've got multiple bins there I've got 28 bins and one queue so the file we want to focus on is the queue we're just going to click it click open and then let it load up still going and there we go so it's pretty easy pretty straightforward we're gonna hit the save as right here now we're gonna overwrite our tech end queue file so we're gonna click it click save it's gonna say it already exists Do you want to replace it yes and then for this don't mess with any settings just hit OK you can see the progress bar right down here and it usually doesn't take too long um, I'm recording so it might take a little longer than normal but it shouldn't take that that much time and what made me look this up was actually you know I was hacking my PlayStation Classic and was like wow some of my games aren't working some are and it turned out to be the multi bin games weren't working properly for me, so I made them into single bin queue and they work great. So it says save completed successfully. We'll hit OK. And you can go ahead if you want to, you can go over here, click new. And then you can repeat the process with other games if you want. Um, but for this, I just did the tech end, so I'll close it down. And I'll go into my tech end folder. And you can see I have all of my track bins here, but then I have one single bin and one single queue on the bottom. So the 28 bins are all combined into this one single bin now. So I'm going to delete my track bins. They're no, no longer needed. And now we've got a single queue and a single bin, just like that. And that's it. It's that easy, guys. Uh, nice quick video for you. Hopefully this is uh, beneficial to everyone out there. And uh, I'm going to have a lot more PlayStation Classic videos coming up in the near future, so stay tuned for those. Um, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, make sure you hit the bell notification so you can get notifications every time I do post a video. And most importantly, have a good day.